going on there guys good afternoon it's the earth master on this thursday july 28th 2022 date about uh, 2 20 p.m california time latest quake uh, shows some activity it looks like around the Medi or, uh, mediterranean region and also at 1.4 in the area of northern california we did have a uh a two point i believe it's a 2.8 or 2.5 in the petrolia area uh, just a few minutes ago, I'm sure you've seen the uh, seismograph station pop up there on the Petrolia graph. So it looks like a 2.5 there at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, about 13 kilometers down there. Just right at the, uh, I mean, literally right there. I don't know if you can get any closer than that. But a uh, little activity popping up there today. Uh, as far as 2.5 and above goes, that's about the only one here along the west coast. We did see some activity here in Texas and also up in Oklahoma. We'll bring down the all magnitudes map here and get a little better picture of what's going on out here in California. Uh, of course, a lot of activity around the Cobb Mountain region of uh, the Clear Lake volcanic fields. Some hydrothermal plants out there creating some, uh, some earthquakes with their process. A little activity outside of uh, the Simi Valley area in Los Angeles jungle region. Well, it's just outside the jungle. Looks like a 1.0 popping off here within the last hour. Also some activity lighting up uh, further south, a 2.1 and also one earthquake. Gotta watch this, cause this can turn into some swarms on occasion. 1.8 on the Brawley seismic zone, which is very close to the locked area of the San Andreas fault, the Southern segment uh, that's capable of producing an 8.1 magnitude earthquake. That's where the, that's where the big one's gonna be one day. I've been hearing it for many, many years. I know my parents used to tell me, but uh, you know, eventually it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen. Uh, some activity outside of Cedar, Utah, up against the hills there. Uh, but as far as that goes, um, not a whole lot throughout the Intermountain West regions. Once you get over here into Texas, these are some of the uh, uh, injection well, oil well operation fields out here. Uh, they did have a 4.0 in the mix. Quite a few twos and threes in there as well. Uh, up in Oklahoma, some scattered activity throughout the oil wells up here as well. Up here as well. There we go. Said wells and wells. Okay. Um, around the, uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got, got for satellite imagery. Uh, I can already see quite a few of these uh, oil pumping operations, it looks like. They're little squares on the map. And a lot of times these have ponds on them or little tanks. There's little tanks on that one. Uh, and it looks like these are definitely within the vicinity of at least one right here. See that one? Uh, and many, 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 many others throughout the region here. So a little activity out there in those uh, fields today. Eastern part of the country, well, at least around the New Madrid zone, we got one earthquake in Arkansas, 2.2. The rest of the country looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on throughout the region there. Some uh, scattered activity throughout the uh, Puerto Rico region and also the Middle America Trench off the coast of Nicaragua. Seen a 5.2 and also El Salvador. Uh, seen a 4.4. So a little activity into the trenches today. Uh, and also down here in the Peru Chile Trench, of course, we had back-to-back -back sixes last night or yesterday. Haven't seen any further movement aside from a little aftershock yesterday, last night, or late last night, I should say, a 4.3 around the vicinity of our last 6.1 that we've seen there around the Chile area. Uh, a little activity throughout Alaska today along the Aleutian Trench. Things lighten up a little bit out there. Looks like a couple, uh, couple twos up there bring up the 2.5 map and above you can see uh, a couple of them throughout the region uh, including a 4.1 along the Aleutian Trench there a little activity off the coast of Japan a 5.4 kicking up uh, earlier uh, this afternoon time frame and also some movement around the Philippine plate south and southeast Papua New Guinea is uh, they had a 5.8 earlier today that's about the largest one we've seen so far uh, it was pretty shallow and uh, looks like it's around looks like a little rent let me see what we got here for this region it looks like it struck out there in the mountainous area so no I don't expect too much damage out there uh, although 5.8 can definitely do some good shaking at the surface level well at least 10 kilometers some movement down around the Tonga region as well uh, back west further westward as we uh, see a little activity in the Owen Fracture Zone down here, and also some movement, a little 4.1 in the uh, area of the, well, this area. 
<laughs> some mountains up here it's a major complex system of uh, plate dynamics just outside of Turkey up here in this region all right uh, let's see what else we got one oddball earthquake out here uh, near the Jamestown region St. Helena uh, 143 kilometers north northeast of there had a 4.9 don't see a whole lot of activity out here too often. We do along the ridge, the divergent boundaries, but this one here is kind of a little on the odd side. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. So West Coast lighting up uh, today. Alaska region as well. A couple of those areas definitely need to watch. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. What do we got here? Not a whole lot going on for earthquake activity. Uh, let's see if this is updated. Fort UTC time 2120. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're updated, looks like. And again, not a whole lot of earthquake activity popping off here uh, throughout the region. Just a couple small microquakes in the areas there on the map. Here's the EMSC model showing about the same earthquake activity throughout the region and the world, but just on a flat scale. Um, looks about the same as the USGS, so really no specific areas um, that are out of the... Uh, normal areas for watching uh, middle america trench here definitely seeing quite a few threes and fours in this area and again there's that 2.5 petrolia area yeah you know, it's uh, cascadia has been awfully quiet uh i know we've had some trimmer but 322 years of buildup of pressure we just haven't seen uh i haven't really seen any activity out there it's definitely building up we know that solar weather activity not a whole lot to chat about here, folks. Looks like we could have some storming around the 30th. Geomagnetic storming, that is. And um, aside from that, uh, wow, things are just calm right now. Not a whole lot of sunspots on the Earth's side. And even the ones that are facing us are not, uh, they don't look, they don't look good. They look like they're just kind of decaying away and just fading off into the uh, sunset, so to speak. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Have a good day. Stay safe. We will chat you a little bit later on for tonight's update. Stay safe. It's supposed to be, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be about 109 degrees here. Uh, what do we got outside? 101. So we'll probably hit 109. But lucky for me, I got it 67 degrees here in the computer room. So we're good. Nice and cool. Great day to stay inside. Monitor earthquake activity. And stay out of that uh, cooking sun out there. All right, guys. Have a good day. We'll chat you a little bit later tonight. Peace.